Hello, this is Miss Elizabeth from Learning Gardens Academy sending my love to my beautiful hummingbird family. That's Max, Ash, Luna, Zoe, Gianna, Juliana, Amelia, Yamuna, and well, I don't know if anybody else has signed up. <laughs> But our family keeps on growing. So today we have another birthday. What is it with you guys and growing up while you're away from me? I want to remember you as my little babies. <laughs> so we're shouting out to Luna on her first birthday. Yes. And we all know as the Hummingbird family that Luna loves two things. Shakira and dancing. So this special song goes out to her. And of course, parents, get your dancing shoes ready. This is a family effort. All right. <laughs> All right, yay! Happy, happy birthday, Luna! And so our travels continue to the wonderful land of Greece which leads me to a beautiful story of a lady named Arthena, Arachnia, sorry, <laughs> who is a woman known for the marvelous ways that she would move the yarn. She was a weaver that would create very, very elegant, elegant Clocks of great beauty. But Arachnia had one flaw. Her flaw was that she believed that this great talent was of her own and not given to her by the goddesses and gods. And this is us ex uh, accept uh, upsetted one great god in particular. So Arachnia got the attention of Athena, the god of wisdom. And so Athena disguised herself as a great and mighty grandmother. And that grandmother got very upset at Arithia. And she went to Arithia. And Arithia said that her great talent of moving the yarn was of her own. And I got so upset that I threw off my disguise. And they went into a battle. Who could move the yarn in the best way? Who could weave the best tapestry? So they both weaved and they both fought with their yarn until they both came up with great masterpieces. But Athena the god was so upset because she saw that her artistry was by far the most beautiful. So this god got so upset that she made her turn into a spider. Which leads us to our next song, one of our favorites. Get your fingers ready, parents, do it along with me. The itsy witsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. But up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy witsy spider went up 
the water spout again. I think it goes like that. Let's do it again. <laughs> the itsy witsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy witsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! Okay, so as remembered, um, as promised, <laughs> where is my words today? As promised, we are going to teach one sign language to us parents a day. So, more, more between spoonsfuls was our last sign language learned. Now we're going to learn milk, milk, milk. Which is give, which is said, or which is demonstrated just before your child is given milk or a bottle of milk. This is the sign language for bottle. We don't normally do this one in the class. We know it, but we don't do it in class because typically when I'm about to do a bottle feeding, I'm holding the bottle, and then I'm able to do milk, milk, milk while holding it and it's like a very good imagery like I have the bottle in my hand I'm saying milk so like there's this connection but um with bottle well sorry with bottle bottle you're literally making like a bottle form um you can't hold the bottle so it's gonna be literally like bottle and then you're either have it ready right there or <laughs> you're still making it I don't know <laughs> But anyway, this is our sign language for today. Send my wonderful loves and hugs and kisses to your beautiful children that I miss with all my heart. And stay safe. So, these messages are interrupted by um, our provider who would like to send some health information to us children out there. Uh, thank you, Miss Elizabeth. Well, I'm a certified nurse and I've been seeing it all. Really, these hospitals and everything is it's a crazy world out there. But I just want to encourage us children, keep washing your hands. Every time you dirty your hands, every time before you eat, wash your hands. Every time you cough, every time you sneeze, what should you do? You cover your mouth. And then what do you do? Ew, those dirty hands. Go hurry up and wash them. And these have been a little message by Dr. Me. Goodbye. Well, you heard it here. Stay clean and stay safe. Bye-bye.